I am out here in my uh, in my gym lifting, I'm doing uh, overhead presses, and if time permits, deadlifts. Because I got lazy yesterday and didn't do anything. Uh, I've just been thinking about my life and the things that that I want in my life, and I've just come to the staunch realization that that whatever you want in your life, you've got to go after it. Nobody's going to do it. Uh, you want a good marriage, you're going to have to go after a good marriage. My wife and I, people envy our marriage sometimes. They say, oh man, you guys are just so perfect. No, you should hear it. Man, we had a huge fight yesterday over something so stupid. Uh, just something idiotic and I yelled and the little DI guy in me came out and it was just wrong. It was just wrong, okay? What you've got to do in your life, if you want whatever it is you want, you've got to go after it. If you want Christian revival in your life, don't pray to God for revival. Oh my gosh, Lonnie, you just spoke heresy. No, the Bible says to seek after him. It said to follow hard after God. It says to seek him with all your heart and then while he can be found and he'll be found. That's revival. If you want revival, get revival in your heart. Don't pray for revival in your church. Don't pray for revival in your family. Go seek revival in your life. Chase it. Pursue it. Go after it. You'll find it. You want to get fit? Don't just sit there and wait for things to happen. Make things happen. You, you've got to get to the point in your life where whatever it is you want, you go out and you go after it. This isn't... Life isn't just something where we just sit around and make and wait for things to happen. We've got to go out and make things happen. And I know some of my Christian friends are going, well, you know, you can get outside the will of God real easy that way. You know, you can kick doors down that God's closed. Yeah, but you know what? I also think God wants us to pound on them. I don't think he wants us to tap on these doors. I think he wants to pound on them. And occasionally, I think he wants to see our front snap kick in action, kicking that door down. Sometimes he's just waiting just to see what we're going to pursue, what dream that he can give us. Sometimes he's just, he's just looking down going, what can I do today? What can I do for them today? Did you know that God not only loves you, he likes you? Did you know there's a picture of you on God's mantle? He carries a picture of you in his wallet. That's right, he does. Whatever it is in your life today, you've got to go after it. You can't just sit and wait for it to happen. You've got to do your part. You've got to be diligent. You've got to do what it requires to get in this world what it is that, you, that, that it is you want. No one is going to hand you anything. No one is going to bestow it upon you. You've got to go after it. And I know we've all heard stories of people that were, that were going along and just they wrote some cool article and it went viral and they got a million dollar book deal or somebody that that uh, did some great thing and they got a reality series and you know uh, or somebody that somebody that uh, came up with some new little widget and in a week it sold a million units and they became a multi-millionaire but you know what that's the exception not the rule most of the time if you want anything in this world you have got to pursue it and pursue it hard you've got to chase it you've got to be ruthless with it and uh that's just my encouragement to you today. Whatever it is that you're after in your life today, you've got to chase it down. I am Lonnie Watson, and this has been...